So we've been thinking about how the egg is a symbol of new life and how it helps us to remember that Jesus rose from the dead and came back to life on Easter Sunday. So for our craft activity today, um, hopefully you've got some eggs that you can use. If you've got small children, uh, you might want to have pre-boiled them, so hard-boiled them so that they don't crack if they hold them. You might also want a little egg cup uh, just to put it in whilst you're going to decorate it. Now if you're very artistic and very clever there are wonderful um, videos that you can watch about how to blow an egg and decorate it that way and if you choose to do that um, then you can keep your egg for years and years and years uh, but we're just going to do it with a hard-boiled egg today um, so you will want to eat them in the next few days before they go off. So to decorate them you just need some felt tip pens. I'm just using these sorts of uh, felt tips and uh, that works really well on the eggs. If you've blown it then obviously you've got lots of options. You can dye them and paint them and do all sorts of fantastic clever um, artistic creations. So it's really simple. You just let your imagination uh, take you where you want to. So the, here's one I did earlier. Um, we've got the cross on one side and then you can turn it round and there's the empty tomb. So we're lucky here we've got white eggs and brown eggs. Did you know that white chicken laid white eggs and brown chickens laid brown eggs. I didn't know that till we got white chickens. Here's one that one of my children did earlier. It says Happy Easter and it's got the three crosses um, from Good Friday. You can really do whatever you like. Um, here's Risen, another one for you. You can just decorate them with a beautiful pattern. But the whole point of doing this is to remember as you're decorating your egg what Jesus has done for us by dying on the cross but then by coming back to life and bringing us the hope and the promise of new life and eternal life with him. So have fun making your eggs. I'd love to see photographs of what you have made so please do send those to me. And uh, maybe if you blow your eggs you can hang them on uh, little ribbons and make a beautiful egg tree that you can put in your window so passers-by can see uh, that beautiful symbol of new life and the promise of eternal life that Jesus gives us.